Alright, so we are actually entering into um, the University of Ghana. It's actually the second gate. Uh, it has three, four main entrances. Uh, this is one that's open to the general public, this main entrance. And um, whilst we are entering, if you look on your, your left, you see the University Sports Stadium, um, football stadium uh, called Soccer. Yeah, and they have a, um, then fill up by the soccer stadium, they have a kind of a, a whole complex of activities. They have a, a swimming pool, international size, and other sporting activities that they do as well. So that's uh, the one coming up here. The swimming pool, a gymnasium, and other facilities. So I was saying the university was um, established in 1948. Um, at that time, it was the University of Gold Coast, University College of the Gold Coast. And we were doing the, the British colonial time. At that time, um, before the university was built, there was um, a debate um, doing amongst the other colonial um, countries of the British to build, establish an all university for all British West African states. And, um, so one was to be built either in Nigeria, where all West African states that British were colonizing would go to. Uh, but here, um, there was a very, one of our founding fathers was called J.B. Dunkwa. He was an educationalist and um, he actually advocated and pressed that Ghana needs to have its own university. So we, this university was built, established, and also one was also established in Nigeria. So we had the University of um, Gold Coast in uh, 1948. At that time, um, the curriculum was actually linked to what was happening in the University of London. But now the university is a fully fledged university. In Ghana, we have um, 13 public universities. And uh, we have over 140 accredited um, private and public universities. So I'm uh, talking about, uh, if you look on your left, these are, we call them hostels. Hostels. Yes. Dorms. Is, uh, yeah, you might call them dorms. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, mostly on campus here, we we'll, have we'll a name for it it's called Hall. H A W L. Hall of Residence. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hall. And so, um, do we. Yes. Yes. That's similar. And so. Okay, so we have um, the university has um, different departments. They run a system called a college system where they have four main colleges and they have different faculties and departments under these colleges. So we have the College of um, Basic and Applied Sciences, they have the College for Health Sciences, they have the College for Humanities, and they have the College for Health Sciences. So these are the four main colleges that the university run. And so... What about business? Yes, so we have the business as well. Recently they added a business school. Good. Yes, so they have the business school is one of the biggest of the I campus. It's, it's very big. It's yeah. <laughs> and so you see that. And um, apart from that, you, that's what, if you look down here on your, on your right, that's the main entrance down there. This is the main entrance, but it has been blocked because of the highway that was constructed there. The only people who use that are actually students and faculty members. Um, during um, weekdays when school is in session, certain part of the road is blocked because students use those. So they want to avoid noise making when lectures are going on, cars drive, driving through the campus anyhow they want. So it's very, very important. And some of these are lecture halls. We call them lecture halls. And here, um, faculty members, we call them lecturers. We call them lecturers. So, um, and now in Ghana, all the regions, they have uh, a university. And in Ghana, talking about university, I want to talk about the educational system in Ghana. The education system in Ghana is actually similar to what you have back in the States. Um, we run what is called the 63334 system. 6334 system. You have um, six years basic education, 
primary school, six years. And then you have three years called junior high school. Then you have, after junior high school, you have three years senior high school. Um, and then you have, well, after senior high school, you go to the university or college. So um, three years senior high school is like, um, uh, senior high school, but junior high school is like grade nine, going up. Yes. So then you enter into, Okay. So if you look on your left, that's the university library. It's called the Baum Library. The architecture of the university is a mixture of um, um, Chinese, Japanese, um, Asian, and all that. You can see, and then you have Indian. This is a recent um, Gandhi statue that's put here. So so there is a strong people here on campus advocating for it to be put down, pulled down. Yes, there's a strong <laughs> There is a strong people pull it down, yes. But then the bomb library that you see here it looks Japanese um, architecture and it was built during the time. And um, the clock still works. Um, you might not see the time, and it'd be wrong, but uh, when it's 12, it sounds loud. And uh, yeah. And so that's the Baum Library for you. It's called the University Baum Library. And then right opposite the University Baum Library, on the last side, you have the University Bookshop. Yeah. Um, Sundays is closed. And then on your, on your right here, on this side, all these are um, lecture halls that students come to study and learn so you see different things yes uh, how big is um this actual ground because this this i've been to a lot of colleges this, this this is very big it is huge yeah it's bigger than the, <laughs> the university of uh, florida <laughs> it is big yeah, they, they have so they have extra land <laughs> um, right on the other side <laughs> right on the other side they have their own botanical garden <laughs> They have your, and if you look on your left, that's the business school. Yes, in the business school, they have an annex outside campus, right close by campus. And then coming up, up here on our right here is a nursing school. They have a nursing training school as well. And they, uh, they also have, a, um, I told you about the health sciences. Um, so those who want to go into medical, medical school, they practice some within the campus and they go and do actual uh, yeah. clinicals at the Ghana's biggest hospital. It's called Kolebu Teaching Hospital. So they have clinicals outside campus. Yeah. And up here, we're actually heading towards the, the highest point in the university. This is where the vice chancellor stays and where uh, the university holds. And so it's called the registrar. In Ghana, all universities are autonomous in that uh, even though it's a public university, the university runs its own system. They don't have much interference from the government. Yes. Yeah. So this up here is the registrar, and you have faculty members who stay up here. Uh, we'll be there very soon. Um, this this is a hall of residence. It's an all male hall. They have an all male hall, all female hall, and they have a mixed hall. And the most popular hall is the all male hall. It's called the Commonwealth Hall. Another name that is given out, they are called the Vandals. And they are the loudest, the loudest of all the guys. The so all male, <laughs> the other loudest. They're like the cute dogs. Congratulations. Okay. So beautiful. They are so beautiful. Look at them. We're messing up their picture. <laughs> yeah, so that's the registrar and all that. So, so that's the highest point where you see the star and the tower there. Yeah. 
Okay. He's like, ain't nobody listening to me. Didn't you? <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Basic education all the way to senior high education is free. Everywhere? Yes, everywhere. And with public schools. That's what I meant, yeah. Yes, public schools. It's free. So recently, the new government actually made um, senior high school free. Oh, awesome. Yes. So you had to pay for yes. high school prior? Yes, you had to pay for high school prior. Yes. You had to. Um, but, but junior high school was free. And now senior high school is free. So, uh, it's called King Fisher. Kingfisher. Yeah, Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Yeah. What about the black birds with the white on the back? Yeah. They are crows. Crows. Yeah. And they scratch like dogs. I'm like, how the heck do you pull this foot up in the air like that? What the heck? I never seen a bird scratch like that. You can't pull this foot up in the air. Sorry, you were asking a question. Oh, um, so one of the girls from the orphanage was 14 and in the second grade. Okay. But she said she's going to secondary school next year. Yes. How does. Okay. You said your grading system is similar. Yeah. That's not. That makes sense. Um, yeah, some who start school early, some who start school late. But how is secondary school third grade? No, second school is not third grade. It's, 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 it's junior high school. It's junior high, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's why I was confused. So it's junior high school. Okay. Yes. My daughter was going to college at five. We asked her when she was five. I'm gonna go to college. I'm going to college next year. Well, I mean, she was 16. Yes. Uh, she was, I mean, 14. Uh, those children in, in the are second always grade. Under but she's going to be a doctor in some point. So maybe she's going to be put in the family. So, yes, they are going to be adopted at some point and put in the family. Yes, so the, we, in Ghana, we have um, the, the government have a system where the families who come and um, of the adopt them and people will come to support them. When they, yes, black families and stuff like that. And when. Sometimes you have a white family. Hey, say that again. That's why I'm that's why I'm gonna die. So it will be good for you to come and abduct them. I will. That's what I'm that's my plan. Like I will. Right yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
to learn and study and take their degree courses, especially in Nigeria. They have a lot of Nigerians come to Ghana to to acquire their degree. Yeah. Uh, so yes. Okay. <laughs> Why? 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 Run this thing Why is it hard for Africans <laughs> to connect with African Americans? Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, business is always about the person you meet. There are people who work right. with African Americans and they have good they work in business. So, probably the person you meet and working with, and it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's working with. So, working in business is <laughs> working with. So, there are people who actually work with African Americans who are actually doing yeah, good. It is. Um, I'm sure doing you would will visit some African Americans here. Um, you would get to hear their story. There are challenges everywhere in the world when you are starting. When you're a, a person coming in and you're going to start, there are challenges that you go through. But once you are able to master a system, ask Bomani. He, he's a he's a testimony. Um, you are able to succeed. So that's how it is. Yeah, if you go through this, there are people who don't want to go through the system. And if you don't want to go through the system, it becomes hard. And one thing also I, I learned from African Americans living here in Ghana is, you know, when you come to Ghana, you go to uh, you go to When you come to Ghana and you want to be uh, all by yourself, you want to do things by yourself. We're not you think you no, you have you have to link up with your brothers yes. and sisters who are already here. Yes because they know the system. Yeah. And then they will introduce you to other people, the locals, and then also you start growing. So if you want to do it by yourself, you, you go through challenges. Uh, because, because they have been here, they can adjust looking at where they are coming from and where they are. So it will be easy to relate to you for you to better understand. So we have an African-American association here in Ghana, the first of its kind in West Africa, I think in Ghana. Uh, in, in, in Africa um, that is actually advocating for our brothers and sisters in the diaspora to come back home and support. So yes. it's a very, very strong thing here. And we have, we have a, a, a system, a, a, an institute called the Diaspora Forum. They have an ambassador, mm -hmm. one of its kind in Africa. Nice. And, and it's here in Ghana, it's at the Du Bois Center. I'm sure you will see that tomorrow when we are doing our tour. And you get to see and hear um, what they are doing and um, how people are actually um, doing business here and succeeding. Yeah. yeah. So, um, any question? Okay, yes. ATM? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Just, yeah. We just drove past the whole bank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's one in here. It's one in here, say, Oh, it's Sunday, the bank closed. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so yeah, still on education. So, um, when here, yeah, every stage you have what we call an entrance exams. When you finish senior high school, uh, the country organizes what we call the basic education certificate exam. Um, this is organized for the entire country. So, everybody takes the course. Um, it used to be about 12 subjects that you need to write to pass and has been reduced to 10 um, and hopefully um, this new government is trying to compact it and reduce it further to probably about seven yes for basic yes yes or junior high school junior high school before you move to senior high school you understand yeah okay so after when you pass now it's 10 subjects um, the subjects that are taught in, in basic school all the way to junior high school, um, when you get to junior high school, you are taught what we call math, 
English science. Science is called integrated science. It's a mixture of so many things. These three, and then you have what we call um, social studies. Yeah, we have social studies too. Where we have what we call, um, what is called um, religious and moral education. And you are taught, you are taught Christian religion, Islam religion, traditional religion. Awesome. Yes, you teach all these things. Yes. Yeah, because that's what is predominant in the country. So we learn all these things. So when I was in school, I learned how many times the Muslims have to pray, do ablution and all that. They also learned creation story and all that. And then we also learned traditional. Ifa. Well, foreign, li foreign libation and all that. Ifa, yeah, yeah. Ifa is, is, is Nigeria. It's Nigeria, yeah. yeah. So we, we learn all these things. What is here? Pardon? What is the name of the traditional? Um, here they don't have a typical name, but then the the it's diverse because every ethnic group has its unique, uh, so we call it traditional religion. But it's but it's generally yeah. the same ancestral. Yeah, um, the practices are different. The practices are different. In that, um, again, you know, I told you. The vegetation type affects the human economic activity of the people. It also affects the religion, the type of religion, indigenous religion. Those in the coastline, um, their main would be the, the sea goddess. Right, right. Those in the forest areas, trees, um, rocks, mountains. Nature based. Na yes, nature based. And those in the north have different yeah. animals. Right. You know, so it's, yeah. it's, it's different yeah. depending. Yeah. So, and so it's very different, diverse. Every ethnic group has a unique um, traditional religion, but there are certain elements that run through. Right. Um, pouring of libation. Right. Uh, the form of prayer, which cuts across. Um, and, but, but then certain practices, you can't transport them. Because when you transport them, it would be conflict to the deity that is there. Right. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's one of the things. So it's very diverse. Yes. I wish that worked with the. With with the two religions. They conflict with the deity. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then interestingly, here, they don't. You know why? Because there are people who actually practice Christianity and practice the traditional religion. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Even in America, it's people yeah. who practice Christianity and the traditional African religion. But, I mean, but, but, the, but, the, two, but the two religions are the division, the traditional, is to bring it together. Mm. Am I right? Yeah. Hey, this day. Hair, day, and beauty bar. Ew. Okay. Whoever needs to add up, it's right up here. No, we're going to change this one. I'm going to use another one. They might not be over, but it's an ATM. Everything else is over. Come on, come on. Come on, you know. Move in, I'm going to ATM.